Hey everybody, Jim Palmer, the News Editor Guru. Welcome to News Editor Guru TV. I'm dedicated to helping you create a more profitable business faster. I am back here in Dallas, Texas with my good friend James Malinchek. How you doing, James? Buddy, what's going on? Oh News my God, Guru. it is so awesome. You know, coming to live events and connecting face to face, it's really it's really one of the major benefits to get out from behind your computers. I keep telling you that. Get out. Come to live events. Hook up. We had an awesome lunch together with oh, some yeah. of my coaching members, some of our mutual friends, and it was awesome. So I want to tell, and I shared with the people at lunch, and I want to share with the thousands of people that watch this video, that this man is the reason that I just did my own live event, my Dream Business Academy. I've been to James' event at least four times, and I go to tons of events. And you inspired me at your last event. He said, listen, was it 12 years ago you did your first one? Or yeah, yeah, a long time ago. I had 12 people in the room. He had 12 <laughs> people in the room. I go, well, shoot, I can do that. You and can now, at least get yeah. 13. And James, <laughs> thank you, James. And so James had like 750 people at his last event. I said, okay, you know, I'm a big fan of starting where you are with what you have. So thank you very much for encouraging me to do that. And um, we had like 34 people, and it just. You did way better than I did in my it, first It was you, awesome. You well, mine. had a lot of training. Thank you. <laughs> so, my, my latest book, Stop Waiting for It to Get Easier. Create your dream business now is doing very well. I know I sent you a copy. It's yeah. probably shrink wrap somewhere in your office. Oh, no, <laughs> I went through it. It's right on my credenza. I know but where it is. One of the great things you do at your events is you have this thing about how successful people think differently from just the average person. Can you share one or two tips? Yeah, not only think, but they think and act differently. Right. You know, uh, so for example, a successful, let's say a seven figure thinking type person, acting type person, never says they spent money on a $10 book or $12 book. It's always that they invested in their mm -hmm. future success, invested in their business, if you will. So it's, it's basically, Jim, it comes down to a mindset and a belief about yourself. I have not spent money on myself in the last 10, maybe 15 years. I've always invested in my future success. And there are times when I've invested two, three, four thousand dollars to go to some event like this, mm -hmm. right, to meet one person in the hallway, right. to shake a hand, or maybe to meet a speaker who I knew would be there who would never return my phone call. You know, so think about it. One time I invested over eighteen hundred dollars and flew to Puerto Rico. And you were sick, I mean. I was yeah, I was not feeling well. And flew to Puerto Rico and this all transpired about, I don't know, ten days before just so I can meet the person who was putting the event on because he would never return my phone call and I wanted to, to prospect this person for business. Think about that. I flew from the West Coast to Puerto Rico. Now who does that? Well, it's people who think and act differently than everybody else. That's why they get different results. And you know, I always talk about there's the current you and there's the future you. Mm. There's your current business and your future business. You have to behave and think and act and even invest in yourself so you can get there. If you keep saying, well, if I make another sale, I'll take the profits and reinvest that. But no, you have to invest in your future growth and profitability, as I always say. Well, here's one of the things I always teach in my, my seminars is this. People say, once I get to a certain level, yeah. then I will do things this way. No, 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 my friends. You must must think and act and be that way now in order to get to that level. You know, once I get to that level, then I'll hire an assistant. No, you must hire an assistant now to propel yourself to that level because he or she takes care of those things that you should not be doing, that you're doing now that are causing you to waste time when you should be really spending time on getting and keeping customers, clients, and patients. So, you know, I have a principle that I teach in my seminars also called act as if. Mm -hmm. You gotta act as if you are already that person. So how would that, let's say you, you're making $50,000 and you wanna make a million dollars. Well, how would a million dollar entrepreneur think and act? Would he or she be putting stamps on envelopes to send out a mass mailer or would mm -hmm. they be using a mail house? Would they be doing their own newsletter or would they be having you, know, you do the newsletter for them? So it's all about thinking and acting differently. You know, one of the things I also learned was that when you let go and release all the crap that you're doing now, the minutia, and focus only on high revenue generating mm -hmm. activities, that's where the magic happens. Right. Well, you got to think about what you're worth per hour. Mm -hmm. So, simple example, if you charge $100 an hour and you're doing $10 an hour work, you're actually losing 90 bucks every hour. Wow. I mean, think about that. And so once you release that, and I was that way. I mean, you know, we all start, a lot of us entrepreneurs start our business the same way, like in our bedroom. Right? One customer bedroom, at a time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? my, my kitchen table or my spare bedroom, right? And so what happens is we grow it and it starts to be more successful. The, the problem is, is we keep the same micromanaging 
as the one person doing everything. Yeah. And you can't. It's like you know, we have a table here. You hit a you hit a ceiling, and it has to come a time where you want to go higher, where you've got to start letting go and trusting in others to do the things that got you to this level, so you could jump up here and take it up to a higher level. Yeah. So one of the things you do um, really well is you're you know I've always said you're a giver, and so your seminars, which you have another one coming up, is it I April? Do it every May and every December. Every May. And the one in May, is it in Los Angeles? Yeah, I do them in Los Angeles. And then December is in Las Vegas? No, Los Angeles. Oh, they're both? All right, correct me, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do them, I do them all in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Let's say that a different way. I do them all in Los Angeles. <laughs> Is that in California? We do them all in Los <laughs> <laughs> So they're all in Los Angeles. But here's the thing. When you go to these events, not only are you going to learn some amazing things, and, you know, I, I will say this. There's other people that put themselves out there as speaker trainers. What James teaches you is not only how to be a great speaker, but he teaches you the business of getting money so you can be a speaker, right? Everybody's got to say, oh, I want to go speak and change the world. Well, you got to figure out how to get the, the gigs and how to get paid. He teaches all the marketing. He teaches you the mindset. That it's just really, really important. I, it's, I've, I've gone to his event at least four times, and I, I keep going because it's like every time you pick up another colonel. So go to his event. The other thing I want to share with you, if you missed him on um, ABC's hit TV show Secret Millionaire, man's got a huge heart. I mean, look at the size. He's got big anyway. But <laughs> <laughs> the man's a giver, and you know I've always believed that you give in order to receive. It's the first part of receiving, and first part of getting your big business is to be a giver. I always say, you want somebody to promote your podcast? Go promote theirs. You want somebody to have you on their video? Go have them on yours. I mean, it always starts with giving. So well, I have a philosophy called AIM. A-M-E. Add value, make a difference, enrich lives. Yeah. If you just approach everything you do in life that way, add value, make a difference, enrich lives, then you're always coming from the right place of you know serving. So I, I use this example. I'll, let's pretend this jacket that I have here was a napkin. It's mm -hmm. kind of big, so just go with me for a second. When we are born and we come into this world, we all get a bib placed under our neck. And we get pre-programmed that we should go through life this way. Because what do we do for an infant? We give to the infant. So the infant takes, hmm. in essence, right? But what happens is that gets programmed into our subconscious mind, and that stays with us through life. So we go through life as human beings with a metaphor-type bib under our chin where we should have people giving to us, which means we're taking. And if you really want to get ahead, then you take that bib from around your neck and you drape it over, oh, make wow. a conscious decision, drape it over your arm like a waiter or a waitress in the finest dining establishment on the planet, and you always approach people, how can I serve you? What can I do for you? That's a powerful message, and I'm thinking that my own kids who I've served for so long will now take that <laughs> <laughs> I like, that's good. Yeah, that good. Not exactly what I meant, but okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, it's funny. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, you're, you're a great friend, and um, I've anything just learned so you. much from you. And folks, you want to check out his, his uh, Big Money Speaker Boot Camps, and also go uh, check out, you can probably see Secret Millionaire online oh, yeah. on ABC's website or yeah, something. Yeah, absolutely. Just Google ABC Secret Millionaire and James Malinjack, and you'll find it's everywhere. Is that the best website, by the way, before I circle out of here? Big Money Speaker Dot com. Very simple. BigMoneySpeaker.com. And to go to his live event, it's actually very, very different. It's BigMoneySpeakerBootCamp.com. <laughs> Keep it simple. God, I'm not, not the sharpest tool in the shed, so i got to make it easy for me to remember. The funny thing, we're, we're both from the same state, and we both love Miami Vice. That's one more thing. That's right, man. Miami Vice. Greatest show in the history of television next to Secret Millionaire. <laughs> Nice. Hey, folks, if you got some value from this week's episode, and I dare say you did, or rewind it and go watch it again, because there was tons of nuggets on this show, I'd appreciate it very much if you'd click the like button, click the share button, put it on somebody else's nude feed, news feed and help spread the, the word. The nude feed? The nude feed. You have a nude I, feed? I was hoping nobody would notice that, but I really appreciate your pointing that out. But people have come to expect high quality from my videos. Well, you're over-delivering, buddy. I'm over-delivering. <laughs> and before the day's out, go put a smile on somebody's face, one random act of kindness at a time. That's you, you, and you, by the way. Go make somebody smile. Wave them into traffic. You're going to get home 30 seconds later. Let them get them ahead of you. Buy their coffee. Say, hey, nice coat, nice jacket, nice napkin. <laughs> Whatever it's going to be, make somebody smile. If we all do that, each one of us, it's going to make the world such a nicer place. My name is Jim Palmer. I'm the host of News Letter Guru TV. I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. Until next week, take good care.